Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Money Vikings Collectibles. Oh, we got a special one for you here this evening. Uh, you know, because of the uh, general mood out there in the atmosphere, I decided uh, let's do a little um, gothic horror. You know, let's do a little uh, little horror and fantasy, and nothing is better in that realm as Ravenloft, in my opinion. Uh, this was a, um, a realm from Advanced Dungeons & Dragons uh, from the late 80s, early 90s. This is known, I uh, have here, this is known as the Black Box, the Ravenloft box set, Realm of Terror. Uh, a little bit like the markets right now and uh, the economy. People are just really unsure about things. There's just a lot of pessimism out there. And... Uh, I'm I'm no sage. I don't know what's what's going to come, but uh, I do think there's reason to also be hopeful. Um, you know, recessions aren't the end of the world, so uh, they come and go. It's part of the business cycle. You know, stuff gets cleared out, and uh, the the stronger companies will survive and thrive. The stronger investments will survive and thrive in the long run. But hard time to all allocate your capital because not a lot of safe safe spots. So everything is being sucked by the vampire of inflation. Haha, <laughs> how's that for a tie-in? Okay, yeah, because you know this is a collectible and investment type, you know, discussion that I like to have with you guys. Uh, but yeah, no asset seems safe at the moment. So uh, let's talk about 1990. Welcome to Ravenloft, uh, this, uh, this dimension of the D&D universe. Um, Many of you are familiar with Strahd, uh, Curse of Strahd, the dark, he was the first dark lord of this realm, introduced in about 1983. Um, and then I believe in this in this set, in the I Strahd uh, Memoirs of a Vampire, uh, you start to get this concept introduced in this black box. So this is a pretty good condition. Uh, I had a set as a kid, uh, but it got trashed. Um, I picked this one up uh, maybe five, six years ago as a, as a collectible piece, a little bit of nostalgia. Uh, you can see here is before, or before Wizards acquired uh, the property. There you got 1990 TSR. Um, and uh, I think this one right now in this condition, maybe about 150 bucks uh, what it goes for. So, you know, not bad. It's, it's valuable. Um, I think it'll go up over the years, actually. Here's the book. Beautiful book. Beautiful artwork, of course, you know me, I'm always enjoying the art. Um, and the, the graphic design is really nice and the typeface uh, is, is just really awesome. There's some really nice elements to this set that uh, get you into that gothic horror kind of vibe and mode. These interior illustrations <clears throat> are intriguing by Stephen Fabian and Thomas Baxa. Uh, those are the illustrators. I have to do more research into them, but uh, I thought these are always pretty neat little illustrations throughout that you'll find. Very nice gothic horror look. Oh, I love the goth vibe. That was cool. Remember goth? That's pretty cool. If you watched Saturday Night Live in the 90s, they were like making fun of people that did goth, but I liked goth. Why not? That was pretty neat. That. Very cool. Some of the characters that you'll encounter in this world. And it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just, a, this is a really neat realm to um, have your characters, uh, you know, act and live through. Um, and, oh, yeah, you got a little monster manual in the back with some of the stats and the Information on uh, some of the various monsters, of course, a lycanthrope, there are werewolves, an odom. It's pretty cool, a strahd skeleton, a zombie, of course. Good stuff. So you got that. Um, the set also came with these inserts, these various cards. You know, you have to remember, this game was played you know, with an imagination and with drawings, it wasn't played with computers or with, uh, you know, computers around that you could bring up graphics and stuff. So these cards could be used um, throughout the gameplay 
This one comes with these really neat maps of the castles, and little graphics of the castles, various non-player characters that you're going to be introduced to, different families and such. And you can see this gives it a little bit of <laughs> very interesting. There's a little thing you could lay over the maps to give you a sense of scale and how far your party had traveled. This one, this collectible has an insert for Dragon and Dungeon Magazine. I'll have to share a few of those with you. Again, those are great magazines. These. <laughs> That's kind of silly. This one's neat. I love this iconic, iconic art there. There's a couple more of those that are really cool. And of course it came with some maps. So I've got those down here. And I'll just show you one of those with interest. But you know, these came in really handy when your party was uh, traveling the world of Ravenloft. So that's it guys. Uh, great, another uh, neat collectible. Uh, from the collection. Um, always enjoyed this, uh, this set and uh, playing in this world. All right, cheers.